Okay, so good morning traders. Hope you guys are doing very well. Now, in this video, I'm only going to be trading with just $100. Now, there's some people that don't have a whole lot of money to just throw into the market right there, but they have, you know, $100, $200, $50 that they could actually start with in the market. And that's why I'm going to be putting myself through that same situation, trading with just $100 to see how much I could make a day with trading $100 you know with the current market situation in case you don't know the market is consolidating a lot so let's see how we can actually get through everything so when i'm trading with an account like this i want to make sure that i'm actually having the lowest spreads possible i'm having the lowest commission possible because because yeah who likes to pay a lot of taxes and that's why i'm going to be using fx view the sponsors of today's video in order to get low spreads in the market now in case you didn't know fx view is a regulated broker from the sisec which is the cyprus securities exchange commission and also by the fsce which is the financial sector conduct authority now i I've not seen any broker that takes customer support as serious as the way FXView does it. Now, what I mean is that immediately you just enter into the FXView website, you see a pop up section where the customer support is very willing to assist you at any point you are in. Now, one of the things I try to look for whenever I'm trading with a broker is if they have low spreads and low commission. Now, this right here is GPPSD from a random broker. Now, we know that GPPSD always offer low spreads. Now, let me show you guys what the spread looks like on FXView. Now, as you can see, this is the type of spread that you'll be getting on fx view when you're trading gbp usd now the part that really surprised me is that you're not just getting this kind of spread on gbp usd now you know minor pairs are the pairs that have the worst spread that you can ever think of so let me use aud chf now if you're checking on aud chf you can see how small this spread is now let me show you guys on the random broker where you'll be getting a spread on something like aud chf now this is the kind of spread you'll be getting on aud chf when you're not trading with fx view now on fx view they give you zero commission and spreads from 0.6 pips now i don't know if you guys have noticed this that when you go ahead and deposit on some brokers they go ahead and add in transaction fees now on fx view whenever you're trying to make a deposit you don't get charged any transaction fee so if you want to go ahead and enjoy all these things i just mentioned go ahead and use the link in the description of this video and go ahead and create an account with fx view okay now it's not possible for me to trade the market with zero balance so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and deposit in some funds into fx view so i can be able to trade the market so yeah let's do that right now this is the fx view website now i just love how everything is just so smooth on here but let me just go ahead and log into my account and try to deposit in some funds to my trading account right here so as you can see right here there's a dashboard there's the wallet account funding manage account there's a lot of things on here so what i'm going to do right here is that i'm going to deposit into my wallet i want to deposit into my wallet then i'll transfer it to my trading account so i'll go ahead and click deposit then i'm going to use cryptocurrency i'm going to use cryptocurrency now the amount i'm going to be depositing is 100 dollars. so yeah a few inches later okay so as you can see right here they've already given me an email on my deposit so let me just go ahead and check my dashboard and see okay i already have my hundred dollars right into my account so what i'm gonna do right now is that i'm going to transfer this money to trading accounts now let me go ahead and share with you guys the game plan of how i'm gonna be trading this account now if you remember from the beginning of this video i told you guys that the forex market is really consolidating a lot now if you take a look at your ad you can see how bad it is on there and even on the major pairs in the forex market so throughout this process i had to look for something other than forex since it's consolidating and i had to find something that is a little bit more moving or trending in the market so i was searching through everything and i found out that the indices market was moving a lot more yeah i'm talking about indices like the nas 100 and the us 30. now i know you guys might be wondering like why did i choose to trade nasdaq and why did i choose to trade us 30. now instead of saying or explaining much let me go ahead and show you guys now let me show you guys now this is my code session and you can see nasdaq you can see us 30. so let me add in a forex pair let's see euro gb and if i check in right now you can see how this pair is you can see how the pair is consolidating and if i show you guys on gbp usd now as you can see on the daily time frame the market is consolidating 
when the market go up the market come down and even on the one hour time frame the market is slow the only time when the market gets to move is majorly when there is a news in the market i trade with trends now if i show you guys let me show you guys on us 30 right now now as you can see on us 30 you see how smooth this trend is you know the market is trending very well it goes up it comes down goes up it comes down very very small market now if i show you on nasdaq if you go on nasdaq we could see that the market is smooth it comes down it goes up it comes down it goes up so yeah let me show you guys if there's any position on us 30 and nas 100 a few inches later now let me show you guys what i'm seeing in the market now if you look in this area around this area there's actually a resistance in the market there's a resistance in the market there's a point that the market can really you know cross just a, a, a few area right there and the market has already gone up to that extent what i just want us to to do right here is to react to this resistance so if price react to the resistance and it goes below the moving average i'm going to be taking it in my entry from there i'm going to stack in my entry from there and try to sell it down and also if you check on nasdaq it's still the same thing the market is currently at the resistance so all i'm waiting for the market to do right now is for the market to react downwards towards the resistance so i can sell it to a very very good point but by the way don't forget the broker that i'm using right here is fx view okay so everything was going according to plan and i just found out that you can't use a hundred dollar to trade nas 100 or us 30. but anyway this time it didn't take me too long to find out a position on the forex side of the market in a very long time in a very long time the market has been consolidating a lot so i'm going to be following up with the market consolidation now if you look here on AUDSD. The market is currently at a resistance zone. Now, let me show you guys my analysis for this pair right here. Now, if you check in AUDSD, there's um, a consolidation that's happening here. And this right here is the resistance of the market. And this point right here is the support of the market. So, you know what normally happens in a consolidation? The market hits from more resistance zone to a support zone. The market hits from more resistance zone to a support zone. So, that's basically what the market do whenever the market is in a consolidation and just like we said the market is currently at a resistance zone now whenever the market is in a resistance zone um what we have to do is that we have to sell price so that's exactly what i'm gonna do right now now i'm gonna try to sell price to at least this point right here which is the 1.65476 so yeah let me go ahead and sell the market so i'm gonna place in 0 0.1 dot size that is 0 0.05 in two places so yeah let me go ahead sell the market and then i'll sell the market again so still the same thing trade so EUDSD now since the market is in a resistance I'm gonna be keeping my stop loss right above you know the recent high of the market and as for my take profit I'm gonna be keeping it at least you know to the support of the market now by the way today is currently a Friday and you know um, Fridays is the day that market actually closed that is like the ending part of the market so I do hope that you know the market actually gets my take profit before before the market closes now most of what is let me just try to stay out of the sun, try to stay back and try to stay out of the sun. Okay, so right here we're already starting out on ADSD, but let me add in one more position. Let me add in one more position. So, okay, but so far from everything, we just have to wait for the market to get down to this point, at least before the market closes. So let's just see how everything actually plays out. Now one other thing to notice is that price is currently below the moving averages in a 5 minute time frame but by the way for now you can't really use the 1 hour time frame because the 1 hour time frame is consolidating and the moving averages don't really work very well whenever the market is consolidating as you can see it's just moving in the middle but in the 5 minutes that's where you get to see you know the moving average doing this work so yeah let's wait to see how price actually gets through everything
a few moments later. Okay, so now from everything, we made about $124.54. But anyway, I do wish that this consolidation actually finds its way to stop earlier. But anyway, I'm still looking at I'm still looking at US 30 and I'm also still gonna be looking at NAS 100. So since the forex market is consolidating, I might come in sometimes. I might look into maybe the forex market. But as of now, I'm gonna be majorly looking at the US 30 and the likes of NAS 100. Now I hope you guys did like this video. If you did like it, make sure you don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not your part of the family, make sure you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Yeah, I give, I give you this. I'll see you guys.